at that point of time, I was like, oh, she is the one. I mean, like, not she is the one for me, but she is the one who sent me the video. In fact, I was going to be a child, I didn't say anything. I mean, from outside the country. And everything was disrupted, so there was no choice. My mom actually she happy and sad for me. Marhaba, this is my wife, Noor, and she is Jordanian. Marhaba, this is my husband, Noor Din, and he is Singaporean. I went to Jordan. To basically learn Arabic language, and I went to the Arabic Community uh, College over there. I get involved in a lot of uh, what we call as nashid performance. So those nashid performance it involves Singaporeans, Malaysians, and Indonesians. And when that festival uh, occurred, they invited us to perform. After the festival, I was looking for the video that they recorded. What I did was I asked another community whether um, anyone have got the video about our, on our performance. Then she told me that this lady, which is now my wife, actually recorded the whole process of our performance. So I asked her, and I managed to get her number because I wanted to ask about the video. And from there we started our conversation, like asking where she is studying and uh, what is she studying. When I got her number, I didn't really know who she is. After a few days when we had a student gathering between uh, all the foreign students in the university and she was one of the in charge, then I knew that it was her. At that point of time, I was like, oh, she is the one. I mean, like, not she is the one for me, but she is the one who sent me the video on our performance. Yeah, like, I can say that that was the moment. Like when I was like, okay, I'm going to get to know this lady more. He asked my friend about me and asked her to, to talk with my mom to, for her permission to start to know me more because he know about my culture and he want to go that straight way. <laughs> In the beginning itself, I really felt that I should ask her parents. Lah. And I knew that their culture over there is like, you need to ask the parents first to get to know about their daughter and so on. So uh, I didn't ask her directly. But the first conversation was about the video and that's it. The reason why I did that is because she's the last girl in her family. And I know that she's very close with her mom. So that's why I thought that, okay, maybe if I get her mother's permission, her mother uh, won't like suspect anything like something we doing something behind her so called like that our conversation was more to whatsapp conversations it was all writings like it was never on the phone and my arabic was the formal one and i typed like hey, how are you doing it will be a very properly spelled one that was the language barrier in the beginning when we were texting there were no problem until when we start to talk on the phone and we started to go out like dating <laughs> and that was the point where I understood and get to know more about the language that the local language and I managed to understand her better. I used to talk with Ajanel. I used For to honest. yes at the, new, at the university so I I can understand. We converse with each other in Arabic. So I have to understand her language for me to relay my message. So I need to ask her like, um, what is this in your local language? If I, maybe I can ask her like, okay, these words that I want to say, this sentence that I want to say in formal language, how do I portray it? And how do I relay it to her? Then she will say, uh, she will ask me back, is it this what you meant? If it's not what I meant, then I need to find other words to make her understand yes. that this is what I meant. Okay, of course, at the first uh, moments when I went there, my mind was on studying. I need to study, I need to learn, get some certs and go back as fast as possible. But then I realized that uh, this is an opportunity not to be missed. And uh, I mean, like, uh, she's uh, somehow that we have a lot of comments, common common grounds that we can relate to each other even though there's language barrier 
but I believe that the best language is love language. Jee. الحقيقة أنا كنت بدي أتزوج شاب يعني ليس أردني يعني من خارج البلد. فبس ما كان عندي تحديدا من اي منطقه بدي يعني سنغافوره او الصين او تركي فسبحان الله وقع الاختيار على سنغافوره when he asked for permission from my mom so i think this is the a good sign that he is the one and he a good a serious guy so Okay, <laughs> and also he went to Saudi Arabia with his big brother to talk with my big brother to propose. Of course, we had arguments, right? So the moment when I realized that she's the one is uh, during after our engagement. Okay, the, my family went over there and we get engaged, and then after that, um, I met his brother. I met her brother in uh, Mecca to propose and all. But then when The challenge was when I went back to Singapore to do all the paperwork, like certification and permission from ICA and so on. And I got stressed about it apparently. And I wanted, I needed some documents from her side. And that point of time, we had a short argument, uh, which we thought that we would make it through this uh, challenge. And then we, when we talk again, we consulted our parents and so on, and they were actually very supportive, and we managed to pull it through. And that was the moment when I know, okay, this marriage is going to be on. In our first year of marriage, I was, we were still there in Jordan for mm-hmm. one year for me to complete my studies, and we actually planned out that after I've completed my studies, we are going to stay there. And I was about to explore more on tourism over there, but apparently COVID came, and everything was disrupted. So there was no choice, and that was the cutting line that we need to go back to Singapore, and that's why we came back here. I mean, I grew up here, and I understand here better. Like as a guy, I need to uh, have a plan for my marriage and our life. And I understood Singapore better more than Jordan, because if uh, we were to live in Jordan, I mean, like I got my business friends over there, but I do not really know uh, the common local culture in depth, like in job scope or in uh, in job sense or career sense, and not everyone like is going to help you. Uh, somehow I've got uh, language barriers, but in Singapore I still have my friends, I still have my families, and as for her, she is very happy with the opportunities that she get in Singapore. My mom actually she happy and sad for me. Happy because she saw me happy, but sad because I am the last daughter and I was so close for from her. So it's a bit hard to leave her and yeah. As for my side, my dad is very supportive because uh, he really loves to see his children like go out and explore other people's culture, and she really loves her daughter-in-law so much that um, before our engagement, my family, my parents, and my auntie and my uncle actually came over there yes. to meet her family. And we had a proper, like a formal proposal like, at that point of time. How that card the wash now? This is our wedding invitation card in Jordan. 14, 2018. I got another one in Singapore wedding invitations. It was in blue, and we decided that in Singapore we are going to make it in blue color, and in Jordan, Jordan. is going to be pink. pink. But then the special part about this is that both our invitation card have this. Nur ala Nur, which is like our motto for our marriage, lah. This is the heart that we really like, because uh, the wedding part there was no problem about it. But our focus at that point of time was we want our cut to look nice. Yes. So <laughs> this was the best that we managed to do, and this is going to be the best memory of our marriage, lah. Basically. في قلب كل علاقة زوجية إلا ما يكون فيها. القليل من المشاكل وزي ما احنا بنحكي المشاكل بهارات الحياه فما بيمنع انه يكون في مشاكل 
قليلة أو صغيرة بس المهم كيف نقدر إنه إحنا نتفاداها ونقدر نحلها فالتفاهم هو نمبر ون في أي علاقة يعني زوجية والمودة والرحمة طبعا I am a linguistic student so I would say that language is very important I am speaking uh, three languages Arabic, English and also uh, Malay I am learning Chinese and also Tamil at the same time and I would say that if you have language you can understand people better and language is just not about words it's just not about sentences it's actually also about expression about how you communicate with your family your friends and also the your social skills your social circles and other than understanding that uh, language is for you to convey message love is also a language اخترتك زوج ايدي لاني شفت عندك حكمة وشخصية قوية والحمد لله بعد الزواج آه يعني زاد اعجابي فيك لاني شفت عندك الرحمة والمودة وشخصيتك كانت جدا رائعة بالنسبة لي ومناسبة لي فان شاء الله انه نكمل حياتنا هيك لنهاية, لنهاية ونضلنا سوا باذن الله شكرا عشان حضرتي في حياتي وعشان قابلتي هذا الزواج وعشنا احنا هلا عشنا ثلاث سنين ما بعد تعرفنا خمسة سنين فكتير مبسوط وكتير مرتاح وكتير راضي عن حياتنا ان شاء الله سوف نقضي طول حياتنا ونكون مبسوطين لاخر حياتنا ان شاء الله ان شاء الله